Coming up on the season premiere of UMass Sports Insider, the fans, players, and coaches are ready for year two of the FBS era. We'll take a look at the Minutemen who will compete on the gridiron in the second season in the Mid-American Conference. And an all-conference player teaches us the tools of his trade as we show you how to kick a football. Plus, we pay our respects to one of the all-time giants in the world of UMass athletics and all of college softball, a special coach who will be sorely missed. A new season of UMass Sports Insider starting now. You're watching UMass Sports Insider. Brought to you by Alden Credit Union, Mafri Commerce Insurance, and Coca-Cola. After months of anticipation, the 2013 football season is underway. UMass brings another young squad into action against some of the best teams in the nation this month. A challenging non-conference schedule that should certainly have the Minutemen battle toughened come October. Hi there and welcome to UMass Sports Insider. I'm your host, Josh Maurer, and we'd like to welcome Comcast Sportsnet New England as our new official television home. Watch us on Saturdays from now until March as we highlight the best that UMass Athletics has to offer. Of course, today we start with football, where the Minutemen are hoping for improved results in the second season under head coach Charlie Molnar. With a look at the 2013 team, here's Cody Cruchel. In year two of UMass's move to the Division I FBS level, it's tough not to notice that the Minutemen have more size, more speed, and more depth at just about every position. It was great to see all the numbers out there. We had about 104 guys practicing today, and to see the long lines was really great considering what we had in the spring. You know, we were, we were short at a lot of positions. Today we had 16 offensive linemen practicing, so uh, I was really, I had a big smile on my face today. Perhaps the biggest key for UMass will be the offensive line. Last year, five freshmen started games up front, and the Minutemen will need some better protection for a young group of running backs and sophomore quarterback Mike Wegzin. You get thrown into the fire as a freshman on any level, especially with the team going from 1AA to 1A and all the growing pains. Uh, that position, maybe more than any, takes the brunt of, brunt of uh, the pain, and he certainly experienced his share last year. I think he's going to get better each and every week. He's certainly got the talent to do that. You know, we have a big line. We expect to be physical. We expect to push people around and, um, you know, be physical with these teams. I think we've got enough talent to be pretty good up front. In fact, I think we have enough talent to be really good up front. But we just got to get some snaps under our belt, get a little confidence, and, uh, and uh, really just play. Even with good protection, Wegzin will need to find some new targets. UMass's leading returning receiver, tight end Rob Blanche Flower, missed the season opener at Wisconsin with an injury. The Minutemen started three underclassmen at wideout against the Badgers and are hoping that group develops sooner rather than later. We have a bunch of uh, tall receivers and again we're young, we're extremely young up front. We've had some injuries during camp so it's taking a little bit of time again to get some cohesiveness, to get some consistency. That's probably that area is probably the, the, the area that uh, is most glaring as far as consistency. At times we look like at times we look like we're really good throwing the football. At times uh, we look like we need some work still, and that's just again that's just going to come with snaps. We have the mentality to win. I mean, not that we didn't last year, but we had a, it was a transition the year last year. Um, most people would say, but I mean, I feel like our whole mindset is definitely converted, um, and we're ready to go. For UMass Sports Insider, I'm Cody Cruchel. Thank you, Cody. As they prepare to start their season, two of UMass's offensive leaders join their coach, Charlie Molnar, in Detroit to meet the press for Mac Media Day. Quarterback Mike Wegzin and tight end Rob Blanchflower were kind enough to give us a guided tour through the busy afternoon. Let's take a look back. Mike Wegzen here with Captain Robert Blanchflower. Yeah, we're here at Mac Media Day. We're about to give you a tour of the, the action that's going on out here. Right now we're looking at Wisconsin. You know, get, get, get my close up. Ooh, that suit. My mom's gonna like that picture. <laughs> How's it going? Mike Wegzen here with Coach Charlie Molnar. Coach, 
Hey, this is your second time here at Mac Media Day with UMass. So what, what was your experience like? Uh, I would say that my experience was much better than it was last year, Mike. Uh, uh, first off, I don't have to explain about being a first year head coach and being part of a transition program and trying to tell where people where UMass is located. <laughs> this year, I really got a chance to talk about our football program, our football team, and our football players. Three things I really like to talk about. Got a special surprise out here. This is Coach's birthday today. So he's celebrating this at Mac Media Day. So we got you a Huntington Club Detroit Lions napkin. Well, Mike, that's thank my you present very much. to you. I appreciate it. Hey, I don't know what to say. <laughs> it's a little hot over here, huh? This is Mike Wegson and Robert Blanche Flower here. Mac Media Day. You mess number one. Go UMass. Thanks, guys. All of that leading up to the start of college football season. We can't wait to see the men and men on the field at Gillette Stadium. It's time for us to take our first break of the show. But when we come back, UMass's top special team standout takes us into the classroom and gives us a how-to Cliff Notes style. Don't go away. Yeah, we're just waiting on the appraisal to come in. Just give me a minute, man. Yeah, we'll get that back in a week or so. Have a great day. Alden Credit Union is the official credit union of UMass Athletics. Alden Credit Union. Banking. No boundaries. <laughs> How's the orange juice, Adam? Refreshing. It's Minuteman made. Alden Credit Union is the official credit union of UMass Athletics. Alden Credit Union. Banking. No boundaries. What's that great old saying about strangers? They're just friends you haven't met yet. Among life's millions of moments, some of the very best are made by Mohegan Sun. When it's your time to shine, come see us. Book your wedding with award-winning UMass Catering. We can host, design, and plan your big event from full breakfast, lunches, to elegant wedding receptions and dinners. UMass Catering can host events in one of our ballrooms at Overlook Campus, tented outdoors, or our own Renaissance house. The possibilities are endless. Let the culinary team at UMass Catering bring creative menus and exceptional service to your wedding day. Special rates for members of the UMass family and alumni. Hi, I'm Steve DeMarco. Wherever your destination, Premier is your solution. Our reputation as an industry leader is built on service, safety, and the guaranteed best price. At Premier, safety stands above all else. Our fleet is serviced on site by our certified technicians. Premier will customize your travel needs all within your budget, and we can even accommodate your travel requirements worldwide. Premier Corporate has your business needs covered. Rest assured, your team and clients will arrive safely, comfortably, and always on time. Premier, an extraordinary experience, guaranteed. You're watching UMass Sports Insider. Welcome back. It's time for our Mohegan Sun Instant Replay. UMass's third football game this season brings a return trip to Manhattan, Kansas, and a second battle in the past five years against Bill Snyder's Kansas State squad. We flash back to the last meeting between the teams in 2009, when during its season opener, the Minutemen hung right in with the heavily favored Wildcats. After falling behind 21-3 at halftime, this blocked punt by future NFL wideout Jeremy Horn led to a touchdown, and the maroon and white held K-State scoreless for the entire second half, only to fall in a close result 21-17. The teams meet again this year, with UMass hoping to reverse that result.
In a new feature this year, we thought we'd have some of the UMass Athletics experts give us a lesson each week in the art of their craft. One of the top punters in the nation, Coulter Johnson, is joined now by his good buddy, kicker Brendan Levengood, as they take us through their technique as we premiere Between the Lines, presented by Moffrey Commerce Insurance. Hello everyone, Coulter Johnson here, senior punter. I'm gonna show you how to punt a football. Brendan Levengood, senior kicker, and I'm gonna show you guys how to kick an extra point. All right, first thing for punting, you want to get back, you want to get in a comfortable stance. I'd like to have my legs shoulder width apart, bent, a little bent in the knees so I can be in an athletic stance. And when to receive a ball, you want to extend your arms all the way out. You don't want to catch it into your body, less time, or more time for the punt team to get back and to block it. So you want to catch it out away from you and extend your arm completely. You're going to have a nice drop table. Think about a table, go front, straight from your hips. So you're going to want to catch it and set it on that table flat. That way you can drop it and make a clean hit. You receive the punt, you take your one step and your other one, and as your other foot is coming off the ground, you want to connect with it. And with that, you can punt correctly. For kicking an extra point, the first most important thing is uh, lining yourself up for your kick. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna line up here have the holder mark your spot where the ball is going to be placed. All right, you're going to take three steps back. Make sure you're lined up straight with your uprights. All right, two steps to your left, 90 degrees, okay? So once you're back in your stance and you're all lined ready for your kick, um, make sure you're in just a nice athletic stance, comfortable. You're going to get back here. Um, I'm a two-step kicker, so what you're going to do is you're going to pick your heel up to get yourself started. You're not going to move this foot. Um, you're going to immediately go into your second step, right, third step, you're coming into the ball and you're going to have it nice and lined up with the ball ready for contact. So the last part of kicking an extra point is contact with the ball and your follow through. So what you're going to want to do is uh, make sure your plant foot is lined up right with the ball. You want to be about a foot length away from the ball and you want your ankle bone on your plant foot to be even with the center of the ball. Once you plant, you want this arm to be parallel, chest up and high for balance, okay? And then when you bring your kicking leg through, you want your toe to be pointed down and away. You want to make contact with the sweet spot of your foot, which is where the bone is in your foot. And uh, once you make contact with the ball, you want to bring this leg straight up through the ball and make sure you're skipping right down through your target. Hey, thanks guys. We'll have some UMass athletes showing you a new skill in each show during this season. It's time for us to break again, and when we come back, the mood becomes more somber as we remember the late, great Elaine Sortino by speaking with those who knew Coach Best. Please stay with us. plays double zero just once and sometimes absolutely nothing becomes absolutely everything among life's millions of moments some of the very best are made by Mohegan Sun when it's your time to shine come see us Hotel UMass was voted the best hotel in Amherst situated on the beautiful University of Massachusetts campus Hotel UMass is where you stay to be in the heart of it all. With 116 contemporary guest rooms, free wireless internet, room service, 36 meeting rooms, free parking, and in walking distance to downtown Amherst, Hotel UMass has it all. Training hard, working hard, more building than believing. Our guys have the heart. We're made in Massachusetts. In Massachusetts. Pride. The streak is really on your dots.
What's that great old saying about strangers? They're just friends you haven't met yet. Among life's millions of moments, some of the very best are made by Mohegan Sun. When it's your time to shine, come see us. License plate. Ride with UMass Pride. Yeah! Yeah! Get all the details at UMassAlumni.com. All proceeds benefit UMass. Listen, a lot of financial institutions think that they're offering personalized service because they sit down with you for a few minutes, input your information to a system, spit back a yes or a no, and get you on your way. Come on. That's not how we do it at Alden Credit Union. We want to know your story. It's our job to get you financially where you want to be. We call that common sense lending. Alden Credit Union. Banking. No boundaries. You're watching UMass Sports Insider. Welcome back. She was one of the most successful coaches in the history of softball. But after passing away late last month from a battle with cancer, Elaine Sortino's legacy at UMass and beyond will be felt far outside the dirt and grass of the field that now bears her name. We now pay tribute to the late great coach who is so sorely missed. I've said many, many times that I've got the best job in the world. Elaine was one of just the most single, intense, focused people I, I've ever run across. I owe so much to her. I owe who I am to her. Um, I wouldn't be the, the person that, that I am today if it wasn't for UMass Softball and it wasn't for Elaine. She was a competitor and she wanted us to be the best so that when she beat us, she could be beating the best. Her wisdom kind of transcends time and it'll continue to transcend time as long as we're UMass and part of the UMass family. There's no question she cared about all the staff, she cared about UMass as a whole more so than you know, most any other person I've met here. Simply put, Elaine was a gift uh, to the department and to the entire softball community, a gift that we had for too short a period of time. She was a, a gem, uh, a real treasure uh, to anybody that knew her. Uh, the impact that she had on her players, uh, the administrative community, her coaching community, really cannot be uh, adequately described. Uh, it had to be experienced by knowing Elaine, uh, and she will be uh, uh, missed very, very much. I've been fortunate enough my entire life to be surrounded and work with and serve great people that have never been afraid to constantly raise the bar. That's what drives us, that's what drives UMass Athletics, and that's what drives UMass Softball. I think the thing that Elaine taught me most is that you persevere, you work harder than anybody else, and most importantly, you love the people that you work with and that you're around. She held us to a high standard. She leaves her legacy with all of us and to carry on for UMass Softball. Ladies and gentlemen, if you can stand on your feet and help me recognize and salute our treasure, our inspiration, as we dedicate Elaine Sortino Field. With my cancer, she was always in my corner. She was always wanting to know how I felt, wanted to know, you know, hey, you look tired, you need to go home. She was always trying to take care of me. And my thoughts were, hey, you're, you're battling this too. Yeah. And yet she's, she didn't care about herself. I mean, she did, don't get me wrong. But she, she really, she cared about everybody else. And she, that never changed, no matter what she was going through. She would tell you you could get that ball and you never thought you could. And day after day, she would push you and push you. And so many times you said, this, this woman's out of her mind. And then there was that one day that you did it. And she knew you could do it the whole time. And she always knew you could be more than, than you thought you could be. She really embodied uh, supporting student athletes as people, not just as, as the athletic part of it, but helping them grow as individuals and preparing them for, for life after U UMass. I think I'd probably say I'm probably the first recruit that Elaine ever yelled at on her recruiting trip. Uh, I yelled at my mother and she 
asked my parents to step outside and pulled me into the office and said I should never ever speak to my mother that way again. That's when I knew that she was going to be my mother away from home and my second mother. And I couldn't ask for a better second mother. What I liked about Elaine the most was uh, uh, she was old school. You know, she was a uh, stick, stick to your guns kind of coach and you know that toughness that she exuded every day I think was passed down to all of her players. She has been involved for a long time and, and during a, a, a period of, of significant growth for women's athletics. When you look at the national picture, at the people who made an impact, uh, at really making the progress that we've made, uh, Elaine Sortino is certainly one of, the, one of the top ten out there. Her moral compass was above and beyond in her vision and the things that happened in the game that are so important that people really don't realize. She was such a driving force always. She had time for everybody. You know, she was a player's coach, I know, but she was a coach's coach. She's the people all of us looked up to and called a mentor and a friend, and we'll miss her greatly, but uh, we will always remember her and honor her. The whole world will be rooting for UMass, the whole softball community, and, and, uh, and wish them well in years to come. And, I aspire to just be half of Coach Sortino and uh, to make that kind of a difference and impact in the lives of so many is, um, it's, it's truly amazing. Softball will miss Elaine Sortino as will UMass and all of the coaches that, whose lives she's touched. She's a special person. I love UMass softball because it's all of you. It's all of you. And you know that's true. Truth be told, my words are pathetically inadequate. I could never ever express what this means to me, that you have made it possible for me to remain a part of this great place forever. I love you, God bless you, and go you mess. Longtime assistant coach Christy Stefanoni will take over as the interim head coach this upcoming season with one of Coach Sortino's greatest pupils, former Olympian Danielle Henderson, returning to Amherst to serve as the associate head coach. Hey, my name is Matt Keyes of the UMass men's soccer team, and after the break, you'll find out some of the strangest foods my teammates have eaten. Book your wedding with award-winning UMass Catering. We can host, design, and plan your big event from full breakfast, lunches, to elegant wedding receptions and dinners. UMass Catering can host events in one of our ballrooms at Overlook Campus, Tented Outdoors, or our own Renaissance House. The possibilities are endless. Let the culinary team at UMass Catering bring creative menus and exceptional service to your wedding day. Special rates for members of the UMass family and alumni. Listen. A lot of financial institutions think that they're offering personalized service because they sit down with you for a few minutes, input your information to a system, spit back a yes or a no, and get you on your way. Come on, that's not how we do it at Alden Credit Union. We want to know your story. It's our job to get you financially where you want to be. We call that common sense lending. Alden Credit Union. Banking. No boundaries. The UMass license plate says it all. You don't have to be a sports star. Any UMass fan can be a star with a UMass license plate. Ride with UMass pride. Get all the details at UMassAlumni.com. All proceeds benefit UMass. What's that great old saying about strangers? They're just friends you haven't met yet. Among life's millions of moments, some of the very best are made by Mohegan Sun. When it's your time to shine, come see us. Hi, I'm Steve DeMarco. Wherever your destination, 
Premier is your solution. Our reputation as an industry leader is built on service, safety, and the guaranteed best price. At Premier, safety stands above all else. Our fleet is serviced on site by our certified technicians. Premier will customize your travel needs all within your budget, and we can even accommodate your travel requirements worldwide. Premier Corporate has your business needs covered. Rest assured, your team and clients will arrive safely, comfortably, and always on time. Premier, an extraordinary experience, guaranteed. Training hard, working hard, we're building and believing. Our guys have the heart. We're made in Massachusetts. In Massachusetts, pride. The streak is great. On your dots. You're watching UMass Sports Insider. Welcome back, back by ever popular demand again this season. It's our Alden Credit Union lighter side to give you a glimpse of the UMass athletes off the fields of play. This week we're talking food and more specifically non-common cuisines. We asked some of the minute men and minute women, what's the strangest thing you've ever eaten? Let's check it out. Um, I ate a mouse. I ate a mouse. Uh, I think I was in second grade. Take intestines. Um, it was uh, it was actually, my mom made me try it because she's like obsessed with those. When I was younger, my mom lied to me to get me to try new foods. She told me it was steak, but it ended up to be a uh, cow tongue. So, um, you know, I found that pretty strange. Um, cocoa dry eggs, definitely, that's the strangest one. I ate them when I went to Peru, to the jungle with my friends. Probably a goldfish. I lost a bet. Like, like not the cracker, the actual like fish? The real goldfish right out of a pond. Every time we have family over, she makes it, so it's kind of like a family dish. Must have been an injured mouse, because it's pretty easy to catch, and uh, me and my brothers caught it, and one of us had to eat it, so I, so I ate it. Did you realize it while you were eating it that it wasn't steak? Well, yeah, because it was chewy. It wouldn't stop. I wouldn't, couldn't stop chewing. I was like, Mom, why is the steak so uncooked? And she's like, no, it's not. That is uncooked. That is, it's cow tongue. It's supposed to be like that and I just spit it out immediately, just all over the table. Did they have to talk you into doing that or did you jump right in? No, I thought that they were just regular eggs and I was like so hungry, so I just went and ate them. How does goldfish compare to other types of fish? It came right back out when I swallowed it, so, I mean, I technically I didn't really eat it, but I swallowed it and it came back up. It's pretty horrible. Um, wouldn't do it again, I don't know. Wouldn't recommend it. What was that first bite like when you realized it wasn't? Um, it was like juicy, I'm like, this is not an egg. And then I asked what was it, and then they told me that was actually a cockroach egg. What does cow tongue taste like? It kind of tastes like steak, to tell you the truth. <laughs> but it was, just, it was just a different texture, but it just it freaked me out, so I just spit it right out. Thanks for sharing, guys. Sounds delectable. Well, that's going to do it for our season premiere. We'll have our next new episode on Saturday, September 21st, debuting as the Minutemen football team prepares to host Vanderbilt at Gillette Stadium. Until then, we say thanks so much for watching and have a great rest of your weekend. UMass Sports Insider. Brought to you by Alden Credit Union, Mafri Commerce Insurance, and Coca-Cola.